It's the Flow Friday Night Sports Show, and it's time for us to have a look at Hume Netball now. And Carla Fletcher, the president of the Hume Netball Association, joins me on the line to help us do that. G'day, Carla. How are you going? Good, thanks, Jason. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, let's have a look back to last week's round of matches, round five in Hume Netball. And the closest match of the round was the Billabong Crows. They took on the Randall Bundry Walla Giants and beat them by just five goals in the end in a thrilling game. Yes, they had a great game. It was a um, really hard fought game throughout the whole, the whole game. And the lead changed throughout the game as well. Um, and Ricky Robb um, stood really tall in the goal circle for the Crows. And she was fed well by Paige Maloney, Maloney who worked relentlessly in, in a tackle game. And the Giants' young Sophia Colhagen had a brilliant third quarter. And she dominated in the goals. Um, and Jessica Kotza um, played a consistent tight game in defence for Ramble Bundry. And, you know, the umpires complimented both teams on their performance and sportsmanship um, throughout the game. Excellent work. So, well done to both teams, but uh, the Crows bouncing back. Uh, the surprise packets of this season have been CDHBU. They're well entrenched inside the top six at the moment, and uh, another win on the weekend for them, this time by 18 goals over Colcan, 51-33. to 33. Yeah, um, CDHBU had their best start for the season, and they put a fair bit of pressure on Colcan from the, from the first whistle. Emily Boyle and Ke- Keely Mills shot well throughout the last half of the game. And Courtney led the way in defence. Um, and unfortunately, she was injured and had to come off. Um, and Colcam are getting really pleased with the way their girls are playing at the moment. And um, they had a few girls out in A grade and some B grade girls stepped up and filled in for Colcan. And the mug for Colcan went to Bridget Murphy um, with Jess McAllis and Shannon Seaman and Carly Lee getting also getting some awards for Colcan. Um, you'd be pleased with the Lockhart girls who keep on winning. They had a good, solid win over Henty in the A grade, 62 to 28. So 34 goals to the good. Yeah, but Henty put a lot of pressure on Lockhart in the first quarter. So Lockhart came home strong in the second half of the game. Um, Jess Brout was the most valuable player for Henty. She had a great game. Um, she's really starting to improve her shooting and showing some great defensive pressure. And Brandy Muller um, won the Coaches Award. Uh, Lockhart are still missing a few key players, but the girls are playing really well and they're adjusting to different positions. And I'm um, sure some of the girls had a few sore heads on Sunday because um, Lockhart had their annual ball on Saturday night. So they were pretty happy with their win and celebrated in um, good style. So, yeah. It's good for the girls to have a win. Good on them. Well done. Um, the Osborne crew might have celebrated a little bit as well, where the Canola Farmers had another big win. 73. It's a Holbrook 30. 43 goals. Too good. Yeah, it was another tough week for Holbrook um, going up against Osborne, who were undefeated. Um, they took their lead early and they just continued powering on for the rest of the game. Um, Holbrook showed some fight and some good passages of play down their attacking end, but they just struggled to convert their goals. Um, and once again, Rachel Gal- Galvin had a great game for us and, and she was really supported well with Gabby and Abby O'Connell. And um, Osborne had a great day out. They won all senior grade um, last Saturday against Holbrook. That is so, a day out. So, yeah. Mm. Well done to them. Um, how long back to some form as well? They had a good win over Brock Burham, 52 to 27. So uh, they're back in uh, in the good books. Yep, they started really well and they had a nine-goal lead at quarter time and they just keep adding, kept adding to that each quarter. Best players were um, Aaron Harbright, who was in goal shooter, and Jamie Dove, wing defence, and they both dominated the game in their positions. And although BB Saints had a couple of A-graders out, and despite the loss, the girls are really starting to play together and they're looking forward to next time they play how long, and hopefully um, it will be a lot closer. And the final match of the round, the margin really surprised me here. Jindera basically thrashed the Murray Magpies. Uh, 28 for the Murray Magpies, 59 for Jindera. They just keep on putting up big numbers. Yeah, Jindera did have a good win, but um, Magpies were a little bit on demand on the weekend. Um, um, best players for Jindera were Taylor Vogel, Chelsea Burns and Shana Holland. Once again, she just played her usual reliable self in defence. And some of the young girls for Magpies, Laura and Hannah in defence, stepped up 
You know, they really had to work hard against the tough Cinder attack. Unfortunately, one of the Magpies midcourt players, Jess Black, went down in the last few minutes of the game. So hopefully she has a speedy recovery and she's She's back on the court soon for the Magpies. Fingers crossed for her. If we have a look at the ladder quickly now, still two undefeated sides. Jinder are on top on percentage from Osborne. Lockhart and the Billabong Crows locked together on four wins. How long and CDHBU locked together on three wins. Two teams outside the top six locked together on two wins, and that's the Giants and the Murray Magpies. Henty and Brock Burham, ninth and 10th on the ladder with one win each. And Holbrook and Cole Can yet to have a win. So a very nice, uniform, organised ladder there for us in Hume Netball. Yes, it is. And, and that probably leads into the big, you know, one-two clash on the weekend coming up with the two undefeated teams, Osborne and Jindra. Can't so, wait. Uh, yeah, can't wait for this yeah. one. This is going to be a beauty. Might as well start here. It's at Osborne. Who's going to win? Oh, uh, I think Osborne might win. Um, look, it could go either way. Um, look, it'll be really highly contested game across the whole court. And, you know, both teams will be looking for turnovers in the midcourt. And I think um, the key will be the midcourt players for both teams. Uh, Rachel Galvin and the O'Connell, O'Connell girls and up against Ginger's Lucinda Morgan and Tegan and Taylor Vogel. So, yeah, it'll just depend on which team gets the most turnovers and who's able to convert. Mm-hmm. But I think Osborne, yeah, they'll be hungry for to win. Yep, indeed. It's not the only big clash this weekend, too. It is the match of the round, but this one will go a close second, I reckon. The Giants, Randall Bundry Waller, they host CDHBU at Rand. This should be a beauty. Yep, and um, I think the Giants will be looking for a win, um, and that will put them back into the top six, and they'll trade places with um, CDHBU. Um, so that will be a really tight game. game. But I'm going for Randall Bundry. Lockhart, your girls will travel up to how long? And this is another beauty. Uh, gee whiz, pick a winner here at your own peril. I think Lockhart will start favourites, but it uh, should be a good game of netball. It should be a great day um, out at um, how long? How long are um, holding their annual odd stock day? And all money um, raised on the day is going to Aubrey Wodonga Headspace in memory of a former how long player, Amy Kohler. Um So, you know, congratulations and well done to uh, how long for... Um, really taking and organising and supporting this cause. Um, both clubs are really looking forward to the day. And, um, yeah, fingers crossed Lockhart will get over the line. But I think it's going to be a really tough game. Uh, Holbrook, can they take on the struggling Murray Magpies? have got some injury concerns. Is there a chance here for Holbrook to break through? Oh, uh, look, I think Magpies will be really keen to return to the winner's list. I'm going for Magpies. Brock Burham, um, they've got an interesting assignment. Cole Can haven't been the uh, the bottom of the ladder at the moment, but their performance last week wasn't terrible. So um, this should be an interesting game as well. Yeah, and uh, both teams have got new young lineups uh, this season, um, but I think BB Saints will come home with the four points. Um, and I don't think Cole Can will make it easy for them, though. And the last match of the round, um, probably the easiest one tipping wise, the Billabong Crows should beat Henty at Oakland's, but. Uh, strange things have happened. Games are not played on paper. No, um, but I think, yeah, the Crows are uh, really hungry to win another premiership this year. So I think they'll go out strong and um, and um, account for Henty. Another excellent round of matches in Hume Netball. A great chatting with you. All the best. We'll catch you next week. Thanks, Jason. See you next week.